Hello, and this is the 39th Regiment of Foot Training video. Today we will be going over the basics in melee, what you need to know, and what you can do right now to start improving your performance. Throughout the video we'll be going over feints, footwork, attacking, and blocking. Thank you, and enjoy the video. Hello and welcome to the first part of the mini-series on how to melee in Metal Blade Warband Napoleonic Wars DLC. Today we're going to be going over the basics in melee from footwork, attacking, feinting, and how to change from your attack to your shooting. First things first, you gotta hit X on your keyboard to swap to the bayonet attack. Second, in melee, the probably the most important thing how to do is blocking. So to block, what you need to do is, one, I recommend going to your options, scrolling down, and clicking show attack direction. Once you've done that, you will have attack direction show up on your field, on your field of view. And you can move up by right-clicking and move your mouse up at the same time, and you can do an up block. Steve, if you want to show them how to do an up block, there you go. So have the attack directions on, and up block. You can do this with down, left, and right. Wherever you move your mouse when you're blocking, it'll show you how to do that. And next is attacking. Attacking is very important in the game because this is how you do damage to other players. What you want to do is most people, when they attack, they'll run at somebody only attack hey, straight. Wake up. Well, the problem is with only attacking straight, you tend to miss people a lot of the time. So what mediocre and more advanced players are able to do is that when they attack, they swing their attacks like this. And what happens is they're able to hit their opponents. If you would just normally attack and let's say did like that, see how I'm missing his block right now. But if I release and I swung my attack, swing it like this, Steve, show him. What happens is you can get that range and you can get that hit. It's basically called a flick. So in melee, the first thing you want to know is how to do flicks. So practice on yourself just going up to people and swinging your mouse like that. Just a simple from right to left swing, and you can get a lot of kills by just being able to hit your targets more. Same thing with the up attack, and you can do it from left to right too, but it's mainly the swing is really crucial in this. So, next things next. Fainting in the game. What you do is you hold an up attack or a down attack, it doesn't really matter. And you right click and look a certain direction, so I move my mouse up and right click and it will go up. I move down and it will go down. And I can start doing this more and more rapidly, so it should look like this without clicking the right attack button. But if I start clicking it, my character will be able to do a feint. If I'm just looking like this and right clicking, it's only going to be doing up feints. If I look down and I right click, it's only going to be doing down feints. To switch in between, which becomes the most effective feint, because you can get through your opponent's blocks easier, because it throws them off, you move your mouse up and down and right click. So Steve try to block me, show them an example. So this is a normal feint, and see, I got through his block, I was able to kill him. Now when Steve responds, what we're going to show now, footwork. So in the game, footwork consists of the four buttons, WASD, W-A-S-D. So W is to go forward, S to go back, A is to go left, D is to go right. Now you can combine these two to make different motions with your character and to kind of go in a circle and you can go either W, D, W, A, A and S, S and D to go in two, a direction like this. But generally, in Mountain Blade, what you want to do, a good exercise to practice your footwork is to drop your bayonet, look at a person in front of you or a target in the distance and walk around your bayonet without making any cir like circles around it. So you don't make a circle like this. You should not be hitting S and D key or A and W key. It's only one button at a time. So you want a blocky square formation that you're making. This warm up will allow you to have more concise footwork and be able to get around your opponents easier. Now, the reason why I teach that is, Steve, pick up your musk, is once you do that, you can just practice walking around an object. So you can usually pick a tree instead of Steve and just practice walking around it while keeping it at your center. And now when you're going to start to do this, you want to start to attack, okay? 
And so I'm going to block Steve and just keep circling around me and down spamming. So you shouldn't be really going in with your W uh, S key right now. You should just keep it level. And just keep spinning around. And the reason why I show you this, stand still Steve, is because in melee, one of the easiest things to first learn is the sidestep. The sidestep is Steve come at me with an attack, should kill me. It's to step to one's opponent's side and start an attack so they miss their attack and you hit yours. Now, if Steve would run at me and just go like that, hit your AQ when I run at you, he just sidestepped me. So now he can stab me in the back and I'm not going to be able to turn fast enough and hit him. So a good exercise you can do with this is grab a buddy or just practice this on your own. It's up block Steve. So as soon as I come at you, what I want you to do is hit your A key and sidestep. Okay. Now you gotta do a little bit earlier. And yep, see how he got around me? You can see in the video right there. But that's exactly how you do it. So when I aggress, whenever somebody aggresses at you. Oh yeah, as we're back from the jump cut, so what you want to make sure you're doing is when you run at a person, so when the person's running at you, you hit the A key and look, keep them in the center of your screen. So while Steve, you turn away, keep looking at me. I'm going to run at User you and I want you to keep channel. looking at me. You want to make sure you do this a little bit earlier. There you go. And that's exactly how you want to do it. Good. Okay, now try to kill me when I do it. Alright, see how Steve did not do it early enough? Basically, because he did not sidestep early enough, I was able to catch him with my attack. Die! Too early, and I didn't even set the duel. Look how smart I am. So now, when I go at you, you want to make sure User you sidestep early enough. Channel. Step around and kill them. Now, Steve, I want to do a normal duel, and I'm going to show them uh, sidestepping. I get over here. Okay, now, Steve's gonna do that. I'm gonna step to his side. When he comes at me, I'm stepping to his side now. Steps to his side. Stepping to the side, to the side, to the side, to the side. As you can see, sidestepping is very effective and confusing. So it's just hitting your A and D key and having that person lunge at you, having them ex overextend and miss their attack and you being able to hitch your attack. But now, what we can combine the sidestep with is a spam. And basically a spam is a block Steve. It's when I come at somebody and then I step to their side and go on a down attack. So it's simply this, standing still. So it's an up attack, then a down attack. But while you're doing it, you're going forward and then you're stepping to their side with your A key, the down block. That is how you do a sidestep spam. So you do the up attack, the down attack. Generally, you want to use this in a fight if you see somebody fainting a lot or if they do a lot of holds. So if you see somebody doing this right here, that's when you want to just throw out an attack at them, down attack, and get that spam. Or when the person's blocking at you and it's your turn to attack, so like block at me, Steve, I can just immediately attack and do the sidestep. So if we were in a duel right now, so like attack me, Steve, my turn, I attack, I attack again, step to the side. Boom, I get the hit. So that's spam sidestepping and fainting okay so let's do a review of them all i'm just going to do all those moves again so fainting sidestepping okay and horrible. the other one is spamming once you get all of those down you'll be able to be good to go that's pretty much the basics the only thing else i'd have to teach is to make sure when you go in to engage a duel that you go in with an up block. So if I'm going to engage Steve, Steve come at me with an up attack, I need to block him first. So if somebody is blocking and attacking, and if you if they're holding an attack and you're holding an attack, and you guys can get engaged, Steve hold an attack, do not actually go in with just both of you stabbing. Wait to the last second and switch to a block. So now that you're close to each other, you don't have to play the range game. Because most new players tend to always lose the range game just because you don't know the extent of your bayonet's range. So, the next video we're going to go over foot lancing and more advanced methods of melee. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.